Imagine a situation at a workplace. Some co-workers are taking a coffee break and are chatting. What might be the most common topic in these kinds of conversations? My boss doesn't understand me or my boss doesn't really care about me. Employees often complain about the fact that their bosses are rather insensitive and do not care about who they are and how they feel. But is this really the case? Are people in a high power position less empathic than people in a low power position? Social psychology has investigated exactly this topic and the result is we don't really know what is going on. There is some evidence showing that high power people are more empathically accurate than low power people. When I say empathically accurate, I mean that high power people are good at understanding correctly the emotions of others. According to the example I just gave about the working situation, this might sound a bit counterintuitive. However, there might be situations in which uh, being empathic for a high power person is important in order to get to the top or to maintain the status. This might make sense. However, the picture is not so clear because some evidence show exactly the opposite pattern, namely that uh, high power people are less empathically accurate than low power people. So what might be the reason for these contrasting findings? Well, there might be many reasons. I think that one of the critical questions here is how did the studies on power measure the ability to understand others? In some of the studies, participants were simply asked to recognize the emotions in pictures of facial expressions. So this kind of tasks might involve a more implicit and emotional component of empathy, which is called mirroring. Other studies uh, ask participants to take the perspective of other people. This might involve a more explicit and cognitive component of empathy, which is called mentalizing. So the critical point here is that actually empathic accuracy involves both of these components at the same time, mirroring and mentalizing. So in order to really investigate whether high low power or low power people are more empathically accurate, one needs to use a test to grasp both of these aspects. In collaboration with Marianne Schmidt-Mast at the University of Neuchâtel and with David Sander and Tobias Brosch at the University of Geneva, we used the following task. We asked participants to watch video clips of people talking about emotional events related to their lives and to rate continuously how they believe that these persons felt while talking. Indeed, research uh, stemming from the lab of Kevin Oxner at Columbia University showed that when people are accurate at this kind of tasks, um, both mirroring and mentalizing areas of the brain are activated, meaning that in order to correctly understand others, one needs to have both this um, implicit emotional response and more cognitive perspective taking. So we use this task, but what is important here is that right before it, we activated in some of the participants the concept and the feeling of being powerful. We asked them to write a few lines about the situation in their lives in which they had power over somebody. After this priming task, participants watched the video clips and rated the emotions of the people talking in the videos. So we compared accuracy of this group of powerful participants with the group in which the concept and the feeling of being powerless was activated and with the control group in which the feelings related to power were not manipulated. And what we found is that when participants uh, were reminded of a situation in which they had power, were more empathically accurate than the other two conditions. In other words, uh, just by activating in some of the participants the concept of power, we improved their empathic skills. So indeed, high power people are more accurate than low power people when they need to assess others using both their emotional and cognitive empathic skills. So I would like to conclude by saying that it is not necessarily true that bosses are insensitive towards others. In fact, what we show here is the opposite. When both components of empathy are taken into account, high power people are more accurate than low power people at assessing others' emotions.